Hello and welcome to I Cook and I Drink on a Monday Night. First of all, the beverage of choice is a lovely glass of wine. Cheers. Mm. Nothing better after a long day of work. For tonight's dinner, we are making a quick chicken soup. And what makes a quick chicken soup? Well, um, the chicken is already cooked and came from the rotisserie store. And it's cut up from the bones. And the skin has been removed, otherwise it gets too greasy. And then you go through your fridge and you kind of see what you have. And I had for leftovers onions, some yellow pepper, celery, old, well not old spinach, but leftover spinach. I had some um, green onions, garlic. And what we're going to do tonight is real simple. I'm going to show you my secret ingredient to a terrific chicken soup. And um, we're going to do this in two installments. Obviously, we're going to start on how we, how we begin, and then we're going to stop the video, and then we'll kind of show you the end product at the end. So I have I heated up some oil, olive oil, and I guess extra virgin. And you heat that up, then we're going to add the veggies, and we're going to put it in. Let me get this. And we're going to just let this simmer for a bit so that they get soft. I love the orange and the bright greens. And the garlic smells good. It will be lovely. All right. And we're going to stir this a little bit so that the oil gets nicely spread over all the vegetables. Oh, it looks brilliant. Exciting. And I am going to add a little bit more olive oil because it looks, I can use it a bit more. There you go. And now that this is all stirred in, I'm going to show you my secret ingredient to my lovely chicken soup. And Obviously, it's, it's pepper. Oh, and it's a little scramble of the dog on the background here. Add a little salt. Oops, I have trouble opening it. All right, the secret ingredient of my chicken soup is Bell's seasoning, which we use for turkey season. But I use it in my soup and I cover the vegetables up with it and it just adds a, a lovely green color. It smells good. It feels like home cooking. It's like, mm, it's like the perfect blend. And then I get the seasoning from our, our fish, um, fish uh, department and they have the seasoning with some red peppers in there. And I like to add a pinch of that. So we're going to stop the video for here and I'm going to continue my glass of wine. Oh, and we're going to listen to, I totally forgot my music choice for tonight. Uh, Kenny Rogers in honor of, of him. Obviously he passed away this week, but uh, We'll get back and we'll continue this soup recipe shortly. And welcome back. In the meantime, my vegetables are now nicely softly cooked. Here you go. We are now going to add some broth. And what I typically do is I use just a, a one container. And then I add like one or two cups, but instead of opening another container, I use the, um, the better than bouillon um, paste, which I think is my favorite, um, but I had these on hand, so I figured I might as well use them. In the meantime, I've kind of shredded the chicken. I have um, the darker meat and the light breast in here, and I put it in smaller sizes. I'm gonna add that. 
and um, this doesn't have to cook very long just because um, the vegetables are already somewhat um, cooked or soft um, the chicken is already made so I'm gonna say I'm gonna let it simmer um, for about 15 minutes and then I'm gonna add some frozen kale because I like green and to my um, chicken stock or chicken soup and then it's done and on that note this video is ended have a wonderful evening again um, stay healthy and eat healthy talk to you soon bye bye